So just to let you know what progress I'm making on the seven cylinder Briggs here. I've got uh, the new holes drilled in the frame for it. I had to redrill four of the cylinders due to changing couplings and things. So uh, I actually plan on making a five cylinder first. So that's what I'm working on now. I have to take half the couplings off the engines and uh, re-phase them. So this video will be a progress on the, the five cylinder, but as you can see I have the seven bolted down here. So here you can see the distributor caps there that I've uh, modified. The uh, one on the left here is a regular uh, V8 distributor cap, or it could be off a straight eight, but in this case it's a V8. So I took one of those and uh, I left one uh, in position as well as the central one and then I uh, made a template on CAD to show me where I had to position the uh, the new uh, location for the spark plug leads. Then I cut it all apart and uh, JB welded it back together and the rotor spins around okay inside of it. So. So there we have our seven cylinder cap, and over here I did the same with a six cylinder cap, and uh, have a one for a five cylinder. So, of course the five has uh, more JB weld on it there since the gap was larger between them. But uh, anyway, now I'll just need to make the uh, points opening cam there, and uh, my son's going to try to machine some of those out of plastic for me. Uh, hopefully that'll work okay. The engines don't run long, so I don't think there's that much force opening the points that uh, yeah, plastic won't work. And at the same time, I'm increasing the size of the distributor drive gear to mount the distributor on the other side of the engine so the to get the spark plug wires away from the hot exhaust. So here we have the uh, uh, firing diagram for the five. I'm going to fire it uh, one three five two four. And then on the 7, the one I have shown here is 1537264. I may be modifying that, but uh, we'll see how that works out. And at the moment, I'm uh, just uh, taking off the, uh, the rear sprockets here on the uh, engines and uh, modifying the uh, phasing or clocking of them there to suit the 5 cylinder. And then uh, welding sprockets back on them so that's uh, what I got set up over here I got, uh, got number one cylinder done there so just working on uh, two and three etc so I've got the couplings all fitted up here chain couplings and got them timed right this is with uh, number one piston at the top of firing and uh, Number two at that time is on the exhaust. Three is on start and compression. Four is uh, let's see, uh, just starting exhaust. And five is on intake. So we spin them over here. The next one to fire is number three. You see he's coming up. There, and that's at the top. And the next one to fire is number five. It's coming up, and it's at the top. Then back to number two, coming up, there it's at the top, and number four is coming up on compression. Then go back to number one, which is coming up on compression, and it completes the cycle. So I have them phased correctly, correctly, which is good. Just got to do a little finish welding and get the uh, distributor points opening cam made and uh, as well as an intake manifold I got it started and so that's the progress on the five cylinder up to the moment